Newport Legends is a community opera writing project that we've been doing over the last year. We've been working with four different groups to explore the legends of Newport and bring them all together in one crazy, epic afternoon of opera. Uh, I personally believe that Newport is a legendary place. I grew up here, I'm really passionate about the city. Um, and I thought, well, this is, this is a fantastic opportunity to write some amazing community operas. My name's Amanda. I got involved in Newport Legends um, through Friends of Choir. They run, help run the Mandy Festival Committee and we learnt about the Mandy Legends through them. And the children were involved as well. Um, it was open to anybody, any age, any ability. I found that really welcoming. Really enjoyed the rehearsing. Um, something different, something I haven't done since school. So it was, it was nice to do something like that again. So the first group was St Michael's Primary School in Pilgwensley and we worked on the legend of the flood with them which is a story about uh, the flooding of the Gwent levels in 1607. We came up with a story about a woman whose husband had gone to sea and she was waiting for him to come back and she saw the flood come in through, um, through the Bristol Channel. The second group that was involved was Cliver Primary and um, we chose for them the legend of Tom Prothero who was um, Lord Tredegar's land agent and had a running battle with John Frost in terms of an exchange of letters. He tried to take John Frost to court and get him transported. And this was a way of looking at the Chartist story. The third group that was involved was St Wallace Primary and for them we wanted to look at myth and magic and legend in that, in that respect. So we pulled on a lot of the legends that exist around Tumbalam and Tumbalam is a burial mound that sits on top of one of the mountains that overlooks Newport and there are lots of legends around Tumbalam about music coming from the hills kind of luring people into the hills so it felt like a really good legend for an opera. The final group was the Mandy community. Now there's a very big project called Finding Mandy happening in Mandy at the moment. Community House, they were extremely welcoming. They said please come in, please find out more about who we are. They have an amazing story about a church that was there that got knocked down and then the community centre was rebuilt as a kind of all faith centre. We thought, yeah, let's focus on Community House and, and see what legend emerges from that. And it was a beautiful one. My name is Amrita and my school's name is St Michael's RC Primary. We concentrate on the legend of the flood and um, of Helen and Rian. They teach us all the different parts of it. My name is Aaron and I go to St Michael's RC Primary School. My favourite is when I do the props and I um, hold it for Amita because she's going to be the um, lady and I'm holding the castle and my sister is. My favourite part is the crazy dancing. The man swings us up and down. Just us yeah. two, doesn't he? I like it because the man's so crazy and he just goes woo woo with us. Yes. We haven't performed in front of people yet. We're doing that at four o'clock tonight though. It's nervous kind of and happy. Like nervous sighted, nervous mm -hmm. and excited. At the same time, yeah. But we always knew that our final Sunday was going to be complete mayhem. Um, that that would be the only time we would bring all these four groups together. Um, so that's what we've put together today and it's been an exhilarating day. 
<laughs> bringing all of that together um, in one day. But just to see our participants' faces at the end of it, it it's been totally worth it. <laughs>